Hi guys, so I wanted to do a favorite lip products video. I'm going to try and swatch all of them um, and kind of explain the colors, why I like them, um, kind of give a little review on their pigmentation and like if they're long lasting or anything like that. So um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have three lip liners here. Let's start with the ColourPop one. So this one is the ColourPop Bound Lippy Pencil. Um, I just did some Makeup Geek swatches, so let's do under the arm. That right there is what it looks like. I heard that this is a dupe for Max Whirl lip liner, which I don't have, and I've actually tried to get, but it's sold out everywhere and um, it's not really easily accessible right now but that one's like $15 I think MAC lip pencils are $15 this one was $5 ColourPop has their products at five to eight dollars depending on if you want a blush um, they came out with a whole range of blushes lippy pencils and lippy sticks and um, they also have quads for their eyeshadows um, and single shadows ranging from five dollars up to like twenty dollars if you wanted to get four in one so um, that's bound and I really like this one for outlining my lips um, and then even just using it as a lip color on its own it's really beautiful um, and it is very long lasting I find that it lasts really well um, they don't claim to be a long-lasting product, but they actually really are. Their lippy pencils and their lippy sticks, they're all very long-lasting. So I'd recommend ColourPop if you haven't checked them out already. Um, they've made quite a, um, what's the word, splash on social media. Um, but yeah, so they've really, um, they've really boomed lately, and I think that they're a great brand. So check them out. Next one is from MAC. Um, speaking of MAC, this one's Soar. The lip liner in Soar, and I'm just going to place it right next to Bound. So this one's Bound, and that one is Soar. Soar has a little bit more of a red pinky undertone. Bound is a little bit more of a mauve, I would say, maybe mauvey brown. Soar is more of a um, pink red shade, and I think it's absolutely stunning. It's very universal, I think. It would look beautiful on a bunch of different skin tones. I've seen it on a bunch of different skin tones. I think it looks beautiful on everybody. Um, and it is a little pricey. It's $15. But um, I, I mean, I've been using it for a while, and I don't think that I've really used that much of it. Um, I think it was originally like maybe up to here. I've only used a little bit of it. Um, and it does last for a very long time. And it's very creamy, extremely pigmented. Um, so that's sore. My last lip liner is from NYX Cosmetics, and this one is in the shade Natural. So I'm just going to swatch it right next to sore. So that's Bound, sore, and Natural. So you can see Natural is a little bit more of a nudie pink compared to the other two lip liners. And you can kind of see a reoccurring theme here. You can tell that I really love mauve, nude, natural, pink um, lip products. I feel like they just look the best on me and complement my skin tone very nicely. Um, but yeah, this one's natural. I don't find it as long wearing as the ColourPop or the MAC one, but it's still very good if you want to use it as a liner. If you um, like to overline your lips, um, matte lip liners are very good for that. And NYX Cosmetics has a wide range of slim lip pencils that are very comparable to MAC. So I would definitely check them out. They're about three to four dollars and NYX goes on sale. Buy one, get one. 50% off at Ulta all the time, um, and you can always use your $350 um, coupon off at Ulta if you wanted to get it. And I think they're also sold at most Targets as well. So it's a very affordable option. So definitely check out NYX. Okay, let's move on to lipsticks. So, okay, let's start with this one. This one's from Gerard Cosmetics, and this one is Nude. So let's go right here. So that's nude. Oh, you can't see. I'm sorry. It's just a very peach lip shade. Um, it comes off more nude on some people and more peach on some people. It comes off very peach on me, personally. Um, that's pretty much the color it looks like on my lips. And I love it. It's a stunning spring 
shade, um, extremely pigmented. I don't feel like these are as creamy as MAC lipsticks or ColourPop lipsticks, but they're still, they last a long time. They're still pigmented. They still glide on smoothly, just maybe not as smoothly, but they're still wonderful. I, I would definitely recommend checking them out. And here's another one from Gerard Cosmetics. This one is the one that Jaclyn Hill created, whom I love, and it's in the shade 1995. And it was inspired by the 90s and the entire Kylie Jenner lip trend. And that's what it looks like right there. It's just a very mauve pink. Looks kind of like Soar um, right there. And it's just um, a very pinky mauve kind of 90s grunge look and I absolutely love it. I love that one. So this one is from Maybelline and it's called Touch of Spice and this one's actually a really great dupe for 1995. This one is, sorry, this one is Touch of Spice. This one's 1995. It's a little bit darker and more um, pink. Sorry, the camera is um, switched so I'm going over here and I'm trying to go over here so I'm sorry about that my apologies but um so I'm doing it again <laughs> this one is Maybelline's Touch of Spice and it's a very good affordable option um I know Gerard lipsticks are up in the $20 mark and Maybelline is around seven to eight dollars but Gerard Cosmetics has a lot of coupons so um I I often get them on sale or I get like I buy them in a bundle or something and that works really well for me but um I would recommend Touch of Spice the only thing I don't like about Touch of Spice is the smell it kind of smells like play-doh um I don't know it could just be me um I get kind of uh, my my nose gets offended by smells easily um so that can kind of be a deal breaker for me, but that's just me being picky. Um, it could totally be great for you, and it is a great product. And this one, next one is from MAC. It's called Velvet Teddy. That's it right there. And I love it. I think it goes really well with the NYX Natural Lip Liner. I feel like they're kind of dupes for one another. Um, that one's Velvet Teddy right there, and it sells for $15 at MAC. And, oh, it's so creamy. It's so pigmented. I don't feel like it lasts all day, but it lasts for a good two to three hours before wearing off. And I feel like it's a great investment. MAC lipsticks are very hyped up, and there's so many of them, from satins to cream sheens to mattes. Velvet Teddy is a matte lipstick. And um, I feel like it's definitely worth worth the investment. I'm wearing it right now with Max Boy Bait lip gloss, which is what I'm going to get into next. So that's it right there. Oh, sorry. That's Boy Bait right there. Oh, you can't really see. Um, let's do it here. Sorry, I have foundation on my hand, so it's not really the best. But it's just a very peachy pink lip gloss. Um, it's perfect to lighten up a color if you wanted to lighten it up, and um, if you wanted to just add some shine to your lips, it's great for that too. Okay, so my second to last one, the last one doesn't really count because it's a lip balm, but this one's from ColourPop, and this one is in Brink, and this one was created also inspired by the whole Kylie Jenner lip trend that took off on social media so that's what that looks like right there it's a matte shade beautiful and the last one is from Estee Lauder and it's their lip conditioner I'm not going to I'm not going to swatch it because you're not going to see anything it's just the lip balm but I find that it's wonderful and I love that it comes in a tube um, because it's very easily accessible and you can just swipe it on before you go to bed or when you wake up in the morning um, before you do your makeup or something like that and it's not greasy um, it doesn't have an offensive smell or anything like that that I don't like and it just works really well so um yeah, those are all my favorite lip products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any requests, please leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye and take care.